see him running in, that guy. Oh my god. What's up, peeps? So we know that Warzone hasn't delivered the FOV for consoles. So in today's video, I've got a bunch of different tips and tricks and things that you can change to improve your movement while playing on AD FOV on console. With that being said, let's jump right into this video. So we're gonna be talking about a bunch of things today, but one of the first things that you can change to improve your movement is going to be in the settings. Now, what are the things that you can change in settings to make your movement better? Well, is every setting that you can switch to make your controller more responsive to whatever movement that you're trying to make? And there's two very important ones. Number one is we're going to go all the way to the bottom here. And yes, the aim response curve type, if you switch it to linear, you will have better movement. And it just in short terms, what linear does is that whatever movement you do in your analog stick is going to interpret it directly in your controller, right? In the game, the dynamic and standard have an AI system applied to it. So it doesn't apply the same sort of speed when you move your analog stick, right? Some of them have slow down at the beginning, then speed up at the end or in the middle they're the same but linear whatever speed and whatever amount of force that you apply on your analog stick it will do in your game so that's why linear is the best one for this one now let's go into one of the most important ones which i see a lot of people talking and it's the dead zone and i saw one of the guys saying you know the lower the dead zone just lower it completely because you'll have better movement now in general idea yes it is better right the lower dead zone you have the better movement you'll have because the better input you'll have in your controller so if you guys don't know the higher the dead zone the more delay like the more you have to move your analog stick for your for you to see that movement in the game but that's not as easy as to just you know just lower your dead zone and put it like that the best dead zone to have is actually the best one for your controller but it's not just when your controller actually stops moving so let's go ahead and do a little test here and let's go ahead and uh, switch it to zero zero right this is what you want to do as well switch it to zero zero and move it all the way to 2020 again if you're playing on 2020 then i guess it's already there but whatever sensitivity you're on move it to 2020 and drop this to zero zero now as you guys can see there what you want to do is you want to tap your controller a little bit um as you guys can see it is moving quite a little bit right again you do want to move it from left to right just to double check and we can see that it's moving a little bit right so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to bump it two maybe so let's go here and bump it to 0 0.02 and again we're going to move it a little bit and as you guys can see now it's not moving at all so again we want to tap it a little bit i know a lot of people say do the mini map one like when you open the mini map and it's moving a little bit but i do like to uh perform the test when the one that's in the game now something that i want to tell you guys as you guys can see here is that if mine is not moving here you can actually drop it a little bit so what i'm going to do let's say your your dead zone stop moving at 0 0.04 right what you want to do is drop it one right and as we can see right there moving try to move a little bit and now that's moving just a little tad bit so now you can do two things you can be comfortable right and you can move it back to where your dead zone wasn't moving at all or you can actually play like this now because playing like this isn't actually all that bad i just feel the dead zone is bad when it's moving like crazy but if you take a look at that and we move our controller left to right it's not being that big of a difference, right? So this again just goes down to personal preference. And this is where a lot of people just, you know, they think that their dead zone does not have to move at all. But maybe you're the kind of person that can play with that slight little movement. Because again, you're going to have that slight little movement on your aim. But this is going to make your controller way more responsive than when the higher dead zone. So again, I'm going to try 0 0.02 just to, to test it out. Because you guys saw when I opened my settings, it was actually a 0 0.03. Because I hadn't performed this test. So I'm going to do this one. And then we're going to go ahead and drop this down to 8.8. Eight. Now that we've talked about the settings, another one that I want to tell you guys is one of the best tacticals or just equipments that you can use that will significantly, I mean, this if you take anything from this video, this is hands down the thing that you need to change. So you're going to go to a class setup, we're going to go to tactical, and I know a lot of people have been using heartbeat and stuns, and some people have started making the switch to stim, but I'm just going to give you here a few examples. If you haven't used stim yet, just give me give you a few examples on what this does. So here I'm just going to be doing a little running right up and down as you guys can see this is just your regular running on ADFOV with a little bit of slide cancel so we can uh, reset that tactical and now we're going to try this with the stim as you guys can see we popped that stim and look at this I mean the speed boost that you get is significant now the speed boost doesn't last that long but again if you 
you're gonna be pushing and in a building the stim is crazy and this is not the craziest part we are about to break the speed of light you let's say let's take a look at this so it, we're just gonna do a little downhill right just running and sliding down the hill right you guys can see pretty decent slide right it's got a little it's got a little bit of slope so we're gonna go again just see a little bit of slide right but now take a look at this right? it's just this is where it becomes crazy what you have to take full advantage is in the sliding as you guys look at this oh my god <laughs> This is not even funny. I mean, look at that. We could pop that another one again. And look at this. With two slides, we basically dropped down that whole mountain. Now, if you wanted to do that without stims, it would be impossible. So, again, if you could take anything from this video, stims are the best things console players can use right now. Like, it's just a must. I mean, compare that to this, again, without trying to slide. So, we're going to go like this, sliding, and then sliding again after our tactical sprint runs. I mean, compare that to all the way over there. I mean, it is a huge difference. But now let's jump into some of the things that you can add to your weapons to make you even faster. So each weapon has a different set of perks, but there are some weapons like the MP40 that have a good one in the perk number one slot called Momentum. In this one, again, it says gain a stacking increase. This is something very important. So you get movement speed after every kill. So again, if you're playing a game that has squad, that has quads or trios or just a lot of people around, you this is stacking so what you can do imagine if you pop your stim you get a kill you get another kill you get another kill all those effects are gonna stack on and you are gonna be the fastest motherfucker alive in the warzone game and that's why this is one of the best ones now another one that you want to add if you don't have this one are these ones right here now for example the owen gun it's got two perks for movement and this just increases it significantly so for the perk one some of them have this one called acrobatic and this is one of the best ones you can have as well this one increases your overall movement speed and your sprint movement speed next up if we go to perk number two we got an another one that says quick which increases your sprint speed so these ones are passive abilities and i love having these perks too it's like you can just run your smg or whatever you want fully for recoil control right you know the, a, a heavy barrel the cover foregrip uh, even if you have a nice stability um uh stock or anything like that like you don't need to run your weapon full sprint you know like the like the short the remove stock or anything like that once you have like you're just you're fully pimped out for no recoil gun you can just add these perks these perks and this one right here and make it insanely fast but i mean if you wanted to go full overkill on your gun you could have a gun like that has every single attachment for this is Vanguard guns can just be crazy in movement. You can have your gun made for crazy movement, like everything that is for movement, you add on your attachment, and then you have a gun like the Owen gun that has two perks for movement speed, and then you add on top of that the stim, you are gonna be crazy fast and you are really not gonna notice that deficit in movement. But again, if you had to take anything away from this video, stim is really just what makes you feel so much faster. And again, especially in console, I really recommend you go ahead and use STEM. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Enjoy these festive days, and I'll see you all in the next one.